Where's that 3D? You can see his skull here, the blade coming in, and the blood vessel there. Okay, so the sharp side of the blade is essentially on that vessel right as it's entering the brain. If, if we get a cut there, he's going to have overt bleeding that um, I don't think we would, we would be able to survive. So we it, it sounds like it didn't take as much as the other. <laughs> and if I take uh, the knife away using the computer technology, it's clearly indenting that vessel. So yeah, the sharp side of the blade is compressing the vessel and we have to take it out of there and not cut it and hope that there's not an underlying cut. And now, now Jeremy will use that vice grip. There you go. And there's no contrast draining out of here. And when he opened the door, it was, it was blood and he had a, a piece of metal in his face. And it was, it was really shocking. Did you and know what it was right away? I, I thought it was um, like a, a metal rod or something. And then when he, when he came all the way in the door, I could see that it looked like a, a, like a knife handle or something. And, and, and that's what it was. And my immediate thought was, call 911. He should make a full recovery. Um, they're not too worried about the damage inside because it, it was just, it came out really smooth and it, it just how it happened was one in a million. Like if it would have like so much as like moved just the slightest up there, it it could have been the end of me. When so tell me what you remember next through this whole experience over this week. There was no no damage whatsoever to the artery at all, and it was like yes, <laughs> answered prayers. It really was. That's a tough. Tell me what you're thinking about. I finally get to see the rest of my family. I get to go home. I know I to go home. Okay.